What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. In today's video, I'll be talking about YouTube reviews, the truth about YouTube reviews. And as you can see, with my massive following of under 10,000 subscribers, um, I know a little bit about what's going on with these YouTube reviews. Um, there's quite a few different types of reviews that you will see out there. There is the YouTube trash douchers like myself who have to, one, buy my own stuff. Like, let's say I bought the Sony a7S III and I used it and I review it for you on this trash channel. Then there are the ones that get sent stuff. Um, you know, Sony be sending all these guys stuff, Jared Undone, Matty Hapuja, Manny Ortiz, Jason Vong. All those 100,000 plus subscribers get like these cameras and they review it and they give it back. That's another type of review that you'll see. Um, then you get the ones where you get sent stuff and you get it and you get to keep it. Like these smaller type, I don't know. For example, Hollyland send me their mic for review and I get to keep it. Um, then there are those sponsor reviews where like Sony or Canon or DJI, some of these bigger name brands would sponsor a YouTuber and they will review the product. Of course, there's always that ethics, right? How can you trust these reviews? And in my opinion, the ones reviews that you could trust the most are the ones where the person bought it themselves and decide to and love the product and decide to review it. Those are the ones that you can absolutely trust. The rest, I don't know. You know, you could just kind of toss it in the air. Like, I would say sponsored ones are just... Sponsored ones are like advertising. Just imagine you going into a job interview and they ask you, what is your greatest weakness? And you say some bullshit like, oh, my greatest weakness is, man, I just work too hard sometimes. Is that really a weakness? But... You could present it as such. And if you look at sponsored reviews, they'll say, well, these are the negatives of this camera. It just has such great dynamic range. You don't know what to do with it. Of course, you want to take that information with a grain of salt. And as a viewer, you have to rely on these reviews before you buy something, you know, and you just have to make a common sense decision on what these YouTubers are presenting you with. Um, and the reason why I even come up with this is that, to be quite honest, I do review videos because I like the tech, okay? Um, and if I bought something and I feel like I really loved it and I feel like it would be great value to you, I would make a review of it. You know, I just buy, you know, I bought stuff, I, I try it out and I make a review of it. Uh, and as a YouTuber, ever since I started getting like four or 5,000 subscribers, companies do send me stuff. They, uh, like Hollyland, for example, they send me stuff. Ulanzi sends me stuff. These are just, Hollyland is a pretty big brand, but like some of these smaller, uh, lesser known, like Chinese made brands. And let's be honest, every brand, no matter how big it is, have some connection with China, whether it be Aperture, LumCube. Sony, Fujifilm, they make stuff in China. If not, you know, we we'll probably not be able to afford half of these things that are made for videographers. DJI, China, made in Kung Pao Chicken, China, all of it. So, you know, with that being said, as a YouTuber, as a videographer who also does YouTube, I am a YouTuber, but as a videographer that also does YouTube, uh, I don't really need stuff. You know, I already have everything I need to be a filmmaker, for the videographer for what I do. Uh, and anything they send me, they don't pay me to do the video. They just send me the product to review on here. Um, it gives me some content, but to be honest, my views on stuff that I do randomly, like videos like this, probably is a lot better than me reviewing some one-off item from some random Chinese company. When I do do reviews, is because it's kind of like a promise, right? They say, hey, if, if I send this, would you test it out and review it? I'm like, if I look at the link they send me and I'm saying like, mm, I might want to take a look into it, just try it out, see how it works. 
and I'll do it and I'll make a video of it, right? So there is really no monetary benefit for me. <laughs> Excuse me. I promise that it's not the Rona. Sneeze, it's not the Rona. So you cough. I think it's allergies. But let's be honest here. YouTube is not a really big, strong. It's not really a much income for me. I make my money doing videography for clients, whether it be commercial work, uh, corporate work, or wedding work. That is my income. This is just kind of for fun. This is for me to do whatever the heck I feel like. And so when companies send me stuff and I decide, hey, I'll try it out, I'll review it, I know I'm probably gonna get like 300 views on the dang video and uh, it's cool. Will I be able to resell this $200 unknown name mic? Probably not. Uh, I'll probably end up just giving it away at my, once I reach 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do some giveaway. I make upwards of 200, 250 plus an hour on client videography. YouTube reviews on random mics and stuff from companies. You know, these mics are $199. Can I resell them? Maybe, maybe not. It just sits there and collects dust because I have everything I need. Like I said, I have all the gear I need to ever, you know, to produce videos. The cost for these companies to have me make a video is just the cost of it for them to produce and ship it to me. So for, for them to produce a microphone kit that costs, you know, that retails for like 200 bucks, it probably costs them like maybe, I'm going to be generous, probably $50 to produce right? They're spending $50 for me to tell you about their product. So when I get these things, I kind of just do it on my own time because I'm, I'm busy. I have personal life and business life and business life is $250 an hour plus. This is not me showing off. This is just me telling you straight facts of the matter. And I take that as priority than reviewing random crap for YouTube, right? So they be sending me stuff and most of the time, it's whatever. I, I do it on my own time. But this one particular company recently reached out. They asked me to do this video for them. And I said, hey, you know, it's interesting, Mike. I'll try it out. And they uh, emailed me asking me what the status was. And uh, I told them I've been busy. I'll get on to it as soon as I can. And they told me, hey, it's been like two months since you received the mic. You need to do this ASAP. Kind of pissed me off. Uh, first of all, it hasn't been two months. It's been like a month. And I even told you it's going to take me a while because I'm busy before you sent it to me. And uh, secondly, your product is not going to do anything for my channel. If anything, you're using me for exposure for your product. So you want to slow your roll. I'm not getting paid by you. Uh, secondly, there's no contract. There's nothing. You cannot rush me to do a video for you uh, because I am not getting paid. Uh, you're paying out of pocket $40, $50, whatever it costs for you to make the mic and you need to relax. You know what I mean? I don't need you. If anything, you probably need me to talk about your product to get it noticed to for people to know what your brand is even. So with that being said, YouTube reviews, you take it, you have to use common sense. Sony A7S III is a big example. You know, as soon as it was released, you see like nothing but all these crazy videos on it. And there's a mixture, right? There's guys like Gerald, who's very technical. And then there's other guys that are like, you know, mixed bag, right? You get this mixed bag of reviews and you just kind of watch a few of them and, you know, you get an idea. But there's pretty much no doubt at the time that Sony A7S III was going to be legit. Did I did I need this reviews for me to buy the Sony A7S III? I was gonna buy it regardless, just from the spec sheet. You know what I mean? And just how long I've waited, just because of Sony's reputation, I don't need all these reviews. Um, these other no name brands and stuff, they need these reviews. Uh, and you, as a consumer, are going through Amazon. You see this mic. It's like, should I buy this mic? I don't even know what this brand is. And you want to search YouTube and see if anyone else. Uh, has some type of say in this. And that's where, you know, my value comes in as like this tube doucher, right? To make these stupid reviews for you to watch and to help you make a purchase decision. With that said, you know, I, 
I don't hate the hustle of these smaller brands because they need they need you know to somehow get out you know the word for this. But um, I, for the most part, have had no issues most of the time to do reviews for like these smaller brands or like these lesser known brands for their products. Andy Cine, Kamika. Um, now there's one other particular brand will remain nameless, but you might be able to figure it out if you watch some of my videos. That's up to you. Uh, if you want to figure out which brand this is, but they reached out to me a few months ago. They want to do collab. They wanted uh, to actually pay me to do a sponsored video. I said, okay, uh, it's probably going to take me six hours to do. I know this is a YouTube douchebag video. It's probably not worth as much as like a client video. And I told him, hey, 500 bucks. I do a sponsored video. I do a lot of nice B-rolls. I make it a lot slicker than like my standard YouTube videos. Uh, they come back to me a few weeks later. No. They don't want to do it too expensive for them. I'm like, whatever. Uh, it's fine with me. A couple months later, they reached out to me to review a mic. This time, they just wanted to send me the product to review. And you know what? I said, hey, fine. I'll take it. I'll try it out. Whatever. You know, make a video of it whenever. Um, told them I was going to be busy. It's going to take a while. They reached out to me uh, like a month after I received the thing. Asked me what the status was of the video. And I told him I've been busy. I'll try to get to it soon. They responded to me, you've had the mic for two months, which is a lie. And you need to hurry up. Pretty much it says, it's been a long time. Can you please do it ASAP? No, it's not how it works. Okay. You want me to do a review? I'll do it. But it's going to, I'm going to be brutally honest about your product um, all the time, regardless if you piss me off or not. And uh, it's just an interesting space. Uh, being a YouTuber, you know what I mean? It's just, really don't know where I'm going with this, but I think it's just that that company annoyed me so much that uh, I just had to talk about it. You know what I mean? If you get a review from me about any product, it's not going to be this most super technical thing on the planet, but I use it in real world use. I use it on my gigs. Um, I use it like right now, I keep mentioning Holland, but this is the mic system that I, I, I'm using right now. And I've actually used on quite a lot of gigs, um, professional gigs. And uh, I really liked it. Um, this was sent to me for them to review. And I end up just using it all the time because of just how easy it uses, good quality. And the fact that um, it just works, you know. Um, so these are the one of those occasions where, you know, they send me something. And there is some value of it. And you know, I would recommend people to buy it. But most of the time, these things I get, I just put it away, man. I review it and I just put it aside. I recommend it to you to buy because, hey, I won't recommend you buy something if I don't think it's worth it. You know, if I don't think it's a good product. But a lot of times, they're just redundant stuff. You know, like it's just, I already have a mic. You know, I don't need another one. Or I already have a monitor. I don't need to use this other monitor. Uh, it's just extra stuff that I have. I don't, like I said, I don't mind reviewing for them and, you know, helping them out. But um, it really does not really add too much value to my channel other than it just gives me something to review and, you know, gets a couple views here and there. I don't really get too many subs off of it, but it is what it is. For all you YouTube viewers looking for a review, just, uh, take everything with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? Not all, you have to make a decision on your own. You know what I mean? Like some people are sponsored, some people are not. Um, some people have agendas, some people don't. Uh, and I think... You know, most consumers are smart enough to tell well, which person is being honest and which person is just being paid. So, that being said, guys, I hope this was interesting. I don't know. It's probably trash, but if you like this kind of stuff, please give me a like and subscribe. Until next time, lighten up.